I'm live at Tuttle Creek where flooding conditions on the Missouri River have lake levels higher than they usually are. Channel 8 reporter Kaylee McLaughlin has the story. Water levels at Tuttle Creek Lake have been increasing since early March. The Army Corps of Engineers says above average rainfall in the area is just one of the many factors to blame. While operations project manager Brian McNulty isn't concerned about another flood in Manhattan for the time being, he said water from Tuttle Creek Lake was released in 1993 to prevent downstream flooding. We, we control floods, and the only time water has actually exceeded channel capacity was in 1993. So since the lake went into operation in 1962, we've only had one out-of-channel flow down the Big Blue River between the dam and the Kansas River that goes by Manhattan. A lot of geographical features make Manhattan flood-prone. Manhattan's located at the confluence of the Big Blue River and the Kansas River, so we have the potential to receive flood flows from a very large drainage area, both from the Kansas River and also from the Big Blue River. So there's potential, two potential large sources of flooding uh, that could impact the city. Tuttle Creek Lake isn't the only water source that has potential flooding problems in Manhattan. Over Labor Day weekend, Wildcat Creek flooded and damaged homes and businesses like these. McNulty stressed the importance of being cautious in flooded areas. If you're traveling and, and you encounter a flooded area, of course, we, we never save drive into flooded water. You don't know what's underneath the water. The road may be washed out, etc. So the common phrase is turn around, don't drown, and we, we definitely support that. So safe, your safety is, is the most important thing to consider. For more information about how residents and officials are combating future floods, head to the City of Manhattan website. From Manhattan, Kaylee McLaughlin, Channel 8 News. Tuttle Creek began operating in the 1960s. The lake is man-made and was originally built to prevent floodwaters from flowing onto the Missouri River. Tuttle Creek is part of a connection of lakes in Kansas that are all man-made and they're controlled by the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers to prevent floodwaters from rising. Right now, the flood channel is sitting at about 40% capacity, and usually that level would be close to nothing, except for the fact that uh, Manhattan has been experiencing a lot of rain, so that number is obviously higher. Uh, right now, behind me, you can see that the flood, or that the uh, lake is sitting at about 38 feet above its natural level. However, the Missouri level continues to decrease, so the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers predicts that they'd be able to open those flood channels within the next week. The city of Manhattan meets later this month to discuss future plans for flooding, specifically regarding Wildcat Creek. Live at Tuttle, I'm Katie Fink for Channel 8 News.